it's small muscles, so I'm just yeah, trying to... No, I'm serious. You want to press the reset button and start with this? Huh? No, I'm just saying, huh? Are you twerking with those muscles? Why? Thanks. I was gonna tell you, look at your muscles, man. You're a small guy. You guys even lift? What'd you say, you fucking pussy? Excuse me? What'd you say? You gonna punch me? What? You, you gonna hit me? If you say it again, I will. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? You wanna get a battery charge? Do it again, I dare you. We'll do what? Say it again. Say what again? Say it again. I pooped my pants. I'm sorry. That's what I thought. Damn, what's wrong with you? Do you guys even lift small chicken legs? I'm using your reaction. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, bro. That was good. You're on camera. You're being pranked. This is the even lift prank. Uh, <laughs> that cool if you use your reaction. Your reaction was priceless, bro. Thanks, bro. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, hold on. He's a professional. That's all I know. That's crazy. Whatever on the line as long as I can get some for everybody who fall. Let me get some for everybody who fall and I'll put some on the line. How about that? For everybody who fall, I'll triple it if somebody make it. If you know what I'm saying, I don't care how much it is. I hear you. I I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be a big guy. Oh, how
Those of you that have textbooks, please take them out. He burned some books. There aren't enough to keep us warm. Follow me! Taking them off campus? There was no place to go on campus. They call your union rep, you're suspended. What? We're supposed to study in a room that's freezing, and now you want to fire one of the few decent teachers still willing to work here? You're both suspended. What? When you've never had a voice. Jackson, come on, get these kids out of here. What are you doing, man? Explain! I don't want no explanation. All she wants is our teacher back. When you've never been given a chance. City. Put that gun down now. You shot me in my leg. It was an accident. Let him go! Let him go! Come on with your hands up. You never know what you stand for. This is Audrey McDonald with the New York City Police Department. Until you step into the light. Everybody's listening. What do you have to say? CNN.com. This all began because of the conditions of our school. We are not gang members as we've been portrayed. Stephanie Williams, National Dean's List. A bad air day. <laughs> First 10 minutes. You made up in your mind we were. Everybody, come check us out! 20th Century Fox presents Usher Raymond, Forrest Whitaker, Judd Nelson, Rosario Dawson, Robert Richard, Sally Gilbert, Clifton Collins Jr., Fredro Starr, and Vanessa L. Williams. I'm sick and tired. I'm never being listened to. Negotiations are over. Did I have to go this way? Yeah, I really did. That's beautiful. What did we do it for? You stood up and you hyped up this whole city. Green light. Get down!
Kiss, kiss on, on the first, first date. date. Yeah. Do I kiss on the first date? Yeah. I kiss on the first date. I do kiss on the first date. I also will have sex with someone after 10 minutes of knowing them. Oh, she likes <laughs> This jug is brought to you by Badlands Chugs Merch. Get all your signed Badlands Chugs DOS boots, shirts, and other merch at BadlandsChugsMerch.com. We're about to do something that is totally awesome and totally rare. And what is this? 
Mountain Dew Cake Smash. Oh, yeah. Don't touch that. <laughs> the chugs on the channel are subscriber chugs from you because you are the one that keeps bad layers chugs going so this is another one all right we just hit three million subscribers so thank you thank you thank you once again we're going to celebrate by doing this this is not the three million subscriber chug that's coming labor day weekend it's going to be epic but you're ready to step into the chug zone folks well, let's get it on all right mm. Now do cake smash. Wow, wow, let's crack this open. Yeah. And pour it into the brand new DOS food, all right? Yes. Look at that pour. Yes. This is the type of pour that makes bartenders cringe. <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah. So that's one. Put this in the Mm. It kind of looks, looks like Mountain Dew Voodoo a little bit. But we're going to see how good this is. really is, all right? Yeah. Mm. These are some tall cans, so it's going to take less cans to fill up the booth. to the top. Yeah. Yes. And now that we have a little bit in here, I just want to give a little taste test. Mmm. How did they make this taste like a birthday cake? It tastes like a slice of birthday cake. It is so good with the icing and all. Oh, oh my goodness. Pour a little bit more in there, all right? So, Yes, we're going to save these for OK Hip Hop, all right? If you like the beat that you hear, you know it's right there, all right? Go check it out without the chug and subscribe to OK Hip Hop on YouTube, all right? So let's put this over here for him. And let's get this chug going. <laughs> yes, folks, the time has come. We about to chug this Mountain Dew that no one has ever seen before. It's Mountain Dew Cake Smash. Down the hatch. Three, two, one. Enough talk. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excuse the bad manners, but man, if you can get your hands on some Mountain Dew cake smash, definitely get your hands on it. It is so, so good. Big up to OK Hip Hop for filming. And that's it. We are out. Peace. Chug in the world. What's going on, family? It's your man, man, Dame Drops, and welcome back to season two of the best and worst reviewed restaurants right here in my state. Now, we already covered the worst reviewed steakhouse 
in Connecticut. Now it's time to slide over to a spot called Barbary's Black Angus Grill to check out what the best reviews say. Steakhouse has to offer. But first, let's read a few reviews. Amazing food, great service, highly recommended. Got some picture action up in here too. Great brunch, service and food is excellent. Great place with great food, wonderful July specials, attentive staff, a few more five-star pieces, great food, favorite place, always consistent, best steak ever. We came here by accident and the food is to die for. The onion soup is divine, the filet mignon, <laughs> no, sir. The filet mignon uh, is incredible. The oysters are absolutely perfect. Everything was just delicious. Booyaka shot. All right, y'all. Enough of those five star bangers. Shoot the music. Everything was just delicious. Booyaka shot. All right, y'all. Enough of those five star bangers. Shoot the music. The oysters are absolutely perfect. Everything was just delicious. Booyaka shot! All right, y'all, enough of those five-star bangers. Cue the music. Hop in, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. What's going on, fam? You know the vibes. Your main man, Dame Drops. I'm out here at Five Eagle Road, Danbury, Connecticut, at a spot called Barbary's Black Angus Grill. Dig, baby. We already read the reviews. They're saying that this spot right here 
is, is the, the best steakhouse steak in Connecticut. Connecticut. I'm hungry. I hope you brought your appetite. I'm ready to visually feed you. Let's go inside and make it hot. I be like, baby, don't do that. You press my buttons, you know better. Depend on where my mood at. What's so fed up? I just might let her. We done weather, plenty weather. It's whatever with me though. Cause I know somebody gon' love me and won't never let me go. Think it's better that we grow with each other on my mother. What you do under them covers, it be better than these. I ain't saying that I'm perfect, baby girl, cause you know me. But everything I say I do and everything I do low key. Alright fam, so being the fact that they're playing music on the inside, I'm not going to go to management, ask them to turn the music off. We have plenty of individuals already here for lunch. I want people to be able to enjoy. So I have to do a voiceover. I hope you don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with the fact that they know your boy. I gotta put that out there as a disclaimer right off the muscle i get inside of barbary's black angus grill and i so the fact that they're playing and i ain't saying that i'm perfect baby girl because you know me but everything i say i do and everything i do for lunch i want people your boy just like many other steakhouses it has that uh it's a nice dark wood feel homey vibe to it the host, he was on the phone helping a customer as soon as he got off the phone, turned around, asked where I would like to be seated. I said, by window if possible, because of course, for filming purposes. He seated me in the area that was actually connected to their outdoor area that did provide a little bit of light. I asked for my waiter to move me to another section that provided more light because again, I wanted to be able to showcase something that wasn't dim lit. I was brought into the back room back room i was the only individual back there and ladies and gentlemen it looked just as classy as the front half of the restaurant looked my waiter was joe joe was a1 the whole entire time i'm always ready bro let's go all right bet being in fact i never had uh the crab meat with cheese dip i want to definitely try that all right I need some of that 20 ounce angus cowboy ribeye on the bone in my life but you know just because Ribeye is going to have a little fat on the outside. I'm not worried about that. Cool. How do you want to cook? Uh, let's go Let's go medium. Done. Any sides? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do uh, the cream corn. I want to try that. And uh, let's do the... I'm between the steamed broccoli and broccoli with garlic and oil. Uh, oh, no. Oh, here it is. Next. From, I'll bring in a little more fresh bread and butter. Thank you, thank I'll you. I'll bring all the steak sauces you can try them out. Yeah, okay. appreciate right. you. Thanks. And yes, you're like, damn, he was only A1 because the camera is out. I honestly believe that's just how he is. I overheard him helping uh, customers that were actually sitting close to the back room section, and he was the exact same way. So, Joe, shout out to you over here at Barbaries. You did your one two thing. I'm giving Joe a five all day on the play. Slide over to the bathrooms. The bathrooms reminded me of there was a school called Flood Intermediate back in the days that I would attend instead of going to camp. And that was to try to help your boy learn how to swim. Trust me, I never learned. But inside of the bathroom, there was tile on the floors. The same tile on the floors was on the walls. The same tile on the walls was on the ceiling. That's exactly how their bathroom was, but it was still clean at the end of the day. That's good enough for me. Upon being seated, as most restaurants do, you have bread that's on the table. A nice little French roll baguette bread, whatever the case may be. This was warm right out of the oven, family. The butter was soft and whipped up with love. And not the type of whoop roll baguette bread, whatever the case may be. This was warm right out of the oven, family. The butter was soft and whipped up with love. And not the type of whooping that you would get from your parents. Nah, I'm talking about the whipped up type of love that you get from a sex partner. Whoosh. You into that kinky, freaky, freaky? That's the kind of whip, but it was soft. It was welcoming. Joe came back with the crab meat and cheese family. My cheese was still bubbling when it hit the table. Now you see the part that's all brown on top of the cheese. Get that little slight extra baked loving. That's just nothing but flavor. Don't be afraid of that. I took the big spoon that it came with, dug up off into the crab meat itself with cheese. Crab meat came out plentiful. It was a bountiful catch on crab meat. Crispy tortilla. Now the joints that come from the store. Now these were the, cause they had that light little bit of grease on them still. Coming fresh about the fryer. Yeah, yeah. Fresh about the fryer type chips. Drained out the grease. Made sure it was still hot, thin chips that you would put the crab meat on just like that. Ba-bong-bong. Take a bite. 
It was crab meat delight. Crab meat every choo choo. Mm hmm. Crab meat just like that. However, I had to hit a pause for the calls. Skr, skr. Pause on the calls because the cheese itself had a little, little tartness to it. Just a However, bong bong, take a bite. It was crab meat delight. Crab meat every choo choo. Mm hmm. That you would put the crab meat on just like that. Ba bong bong, take a bite. It was crab meat delight. Crab meat every choo choo. Mm hmm. Crab meat just like that. However, I had to hit a pause for the calls. Skr, skr. Pause on the calls because the cheese itself had a little, little tartness to it. There's a little tartness on that cheese. Kind of threw me off a little bit, but I'm trying it for the first time. I won't beat them in the head for that. That's not their specialty. That's not their thing thing, not their boo thing. So I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna get that drum right there, like a three and a half. It wasn't bad. It was freshly prepared again. I like the fact that it wasn't store bought anything. Okay? That's that fresh, fresh to death. That's that fresh to death for real with crab meat and cheese. Okay, three and a half. Family, please look at this steak. I need for you to look at this steak and then better understand that this steak, oh, marbleized, caramelized. That thing right there hit cast iron for the way it's looking on the exterior body. And I know Joe said he's not going anywhere until I open it down the middle. I proceeded to go ahead and start working my knife with the fork press. You know the fork press, you got your finger on the fork, boom, to hold it. Hit it with the knife piece, opened it up ever so gently and I almost cried. The way the juices cascaded down my plate with the pink middle. Mm -hmm. I wasn't upset about that. Pink middle action on my steak. That's medium, just the way you like it. You said, Dame, how come you didn't get medium when you went to American Steakhouse? Would you? If your steaks normally came out gray and it was a low quality beef, would you? You know better, baby. When it comes to meat, you got to get high quality if you're going low, closer to rare. Don't ever play games. You ask for a well done when the quality low. Don't play yourself. You mess around, get some food poisoning out that joint. But anyway, not happening up over here. I went medium. Family, I cut it. Don't play yourself. You mess around, get some food poisoning out that joint. But anyway, not happening up over here. I went medium. Family, I cut it up into a biteable piece. I hit that steak. Boom! <laughs> Family, I cut it up into a biteable piece. I hit that steak, boom! Buttery flavor is exactly what you're supposed to get from steak. You're supposed to taste the utter butter. He had... Buttery flavor is exactly what you're supposed to get from steak. You're supposed to taste the utter butter. He had cracked pepper all Buttery flavor is exactly what you're supposed to get from steak. You're supposed to taste the utter butter. He had cracked pepper all up over that thing for extra flavor. Really didn't matter. Steak juices were trying to sink in with my beard. They were trying to Bluetooth sink inside of my beard. And they did. They did. They didn't even stun. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them, them type of juices, you just let sit there and let reside right here for a little bit of moisturifications. You don't understand. That is the steak that you're checking for. You. Them, them type of juices, you just let sit there trying to sink in with my beard. They were trying to Bluetooth sink inside of my beard, and they did. They did. They didn't even stun. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them, them type of juices, you just let sit there let reside right here for a little bit of moisturifications. You don't understand. That is the steak that you're checking for. High quality beef. 
I kept going, family. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop because I had not choo choo. I had light chew. The rest dissipated right on my tongue. The rest just melted and faded away. Meat isn't supposed to melt and fade away like that. It faded away better than a shot on the court after crossing somebody up. It faded better than your barber on any given Sunday. It had a mean fade on it the way it faded away when I took a bite of delight and I kept cutting the pieces. Pieces kept getting bigger. I dipped it up off into the barbary sauce, baby. That sauce right there was that barbecue drone. And it had a little horseradish in there. Cutting the pieces, pieces kept getting bigger. I dipped it up off into the barbary sauce, baby. That sauce right there was that barbecue. And the way it faded away when I took a bite of delight. And I kept cutting the pieces, pieces kept getting bigger. I dipped it up off into the barbary sauce, baby. That sauce right there was that barbecue drum. It faded away when I took a bite of delight. And I kept cutting the pieces, pieces kept getting bigger. I dipped it up off into the barbary sauce, baby. That sauce right there was that barbecue drum. And it had a little horseradish in there for a little spicy donkey kick i hit that thing i was like lord lord why why have i not been blessed with such great flavoring like this in a minute in a minute and then i looked over there i said i looked over there at the cream corn y'all when i grabbed the cream corn up i had the cream corn right about here Right about here, you see what I'm saying to you? Hit that cream corn situation, bung, and that wasn't regular cream corn. That cream corn tastes as if it was inside of a cake batter. It was so sweet. It was so sweet. It was like cake batter with frosting mixed in with corn and butter. I was like, what is this? What is this trickery? Is this deception? Is this what grand deception tastes like? Deceive me more, please, if this is what grand deception tastes like. I need all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, that cream corn right there, definitely a five all day. That is great flavor. I, I said it was better than my mama's. I ain't going to stunt. Mom Dukes put me on a cream corn as a kid. That cream corn was on another level up over there. So the preparation that happens up over here at Barbary's, Black Angus, baby, y'all you y'all got it. Y'all got that one on lock for real. So much so, I looked at my steamed broccoli. I already knew it was going to be a problem in these streets. Black Angus, baby, y'all you y'all got it. Y'all got that one on lock for real. So much so, I looked at my steamed broccoli. I already knew it was going to be a problem in these streets. Mm. Oh. Not that frozen mess either. Mm. No. It's right here growing in somebody's garden. This ain't even that store joint that you find up over there with the veggies. No, this is somebody's garden for real. Mmm. A little bit of butter on that too. Here that joint some cracked pepper for flavor. Mm. The whole meal is bumping. Whatever that TikTok mess is right there, this right here, dumb shit. That that that's what this milk get, it get that it get that TikTok done done. So yo, I got the itis, y'all. This is the first time I've had the itis while doing the food review. Like I laid back for a little bit, I almost fell asleep. Open your restaurant app. Oh my goodness. Barbary's Black Angus Grill. Let's rate that now. Yo, I want to give it more than five. So let's give it the 100. Run it. Whatever that TikTok mess is right there, this right here, dumb shit. That that that's what this milk get. It get that it get that TikTok done done. So yo, I got the itis, y'all. This is the first time I've had the itis while doing the food review. Like I laid back for a little bit, I almost fell asleep. Open your restaurant app. Oh my goodness. Barbary's Black Angus Grill. Let's rate that now. Yo, I want to give it more than five. So let's give it the 100. Run it. We can only go five and that, but the 100 running is what it's getting because the whole joint is sl 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 slapping. Mm. Put a couple pictures in here that I have up over there. Okay, bong. Um, uh, almost, almost at a loss of words. Steak. Okay, bong. Um, Almost, almost at a loss of words. Steak was wild, juicy, with hellacious flavor. Best cream.
corn ever. And the steamed broccoli was pure mouth seduction. That's pure mouth seduction. Post it, post it, post it, post it, post it. I'm gonna see you guys next video. This right here, Barbary's Black Angus Grill. It's everything in the wetter ring. Trust and believe that. My first time here, Danbury, Connecticut. Much love. Much love to the staff here. Staff was generous. You know, everything looked good, tastes even better. You have to have the experience at least one time in your life. You made me a Dame Drops. I holla. Freshness of the salmon is what really brings you in. It's saying you just bit into something magnificent. I started doing food freshness of the salmon is what really brings you in. It's saying you just bit into something magnificent. I started doing food reviews in my car around 2009. And then my life changed. I'll go just about anywhere to get some good food. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. That is to devour. That's looking real good right there. Every bite has to be an experience to get some good food. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. That is to devour. That's looking real good right there. I'll go just about anywhere to get some good food. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. That is to devour. That's look real good right there. Every bite has to be an experience. I'm going to take you for that experience. You too. Mm, I'm the captain now. You know I'm not leaving until I tell you what my favorite fried food in the city is. It hits all the spots. What I'm looking for is some good chicken and waffles. Anything about this chicken. You want me chicken dry? You probably don't want it. Oh, you talking juicy juicy? It's got to be juicy. Is this what you do? I mean, this is what we do. Boom, boom, all over the place. Boom, boom, in my face. The most decadent burger that we have ever made. Starts with one pound of Wagyu on there, truffle cheese, gold, vinegar, bacon on top, big lobster, gold dust the bun. It is the best burger you will ever have. Me and the burger have in a moment. All right, you're ready to break it. All I need for you to do for me is keep it crispy. I had to kiss it. I had to kiss it. Just give me a moment. I have moments with my food. I love you, man. This is fresh, fried, and crispy. Want to know why I call it a hush puppy? Did you hear me say anything while I was chewing it? Anything while I was chewing it? Let me say anything while I was chewing it? With one pound of Wagyu on there, truffle cheese, gold, billionaire bacon on top, big lobster, gold, the bun. Decadent burger that we have ever made. Start with one pound of Wagyu on there, truffle cheese, gold, billionaire bacon on top, big lobster. Boom in my face. This is the most decadent burger that we have ever heard.